So I had a placement on a TMZ special on Fox, and today we'll break down that placement. Let's dig into it. What's up, people? Welcome to the channel where we talk about music licensing, music production, and music business. If you love any of the previously mentioned, be sure to subscribe so you can stay up to date on all my latest content and hit that bell icon so you know exactly when that new content drops. So today I'm doing a placement breakdown. I had a royalty statement, a recent royalty statement come in and notice that TMZ has been showing your boy a lot of love over the past year or so or half year i don't know but it's been a lot of tmz stuff but this one specifically was tmz investigates who really killed michael jackson and the sad fact is very few people around him were even listening the record company usually like oh. bro i literally just dropped my ipad it's deep, right? I know. And honestly, I think I'm going to go back and watch the whole thing because I'm, I'm kind of curious to see what went down. But anyways, they used a track called Step on Toes that I produced. It's probably been a few years now since I produced this track, but it is picking up traction. So it's Step on Toes. It was a background use. It played for a minute on Fox during prime time. So this one placement this one use for a minute ended up paying me seventy dollars and sixty eight cents just for this one track being used one time on this show so i'm not mad at it shout out to fox it's a major network usually you get something on major networks it pays a lot more than some of the smaller cable networks where you know it may have been seven dollars on a bet or vh1 but since it was on fox and since it was during prime time it ended up paying seventy dollars so Shout out to that. So yeah, so let's dig into it, man. I'm gonna show you guys pretty much the hook, what the whole track stemmed from, the main idea, and let you know the elements that I used, and also a very important element that should be used in every track. So let's dig into it. All right, before we dig into the breakdown, I wanna let you know that this video is brought to you by The Road to 10 Placements. It's the exact blueprint I use to get this track and many others placed in TV. So if you don't know how to produce, prepare, and pitch placement-ready music for TV, then enroll in The Road to 10 Placements course. That link will be in the description. Go ahead, start the journey to sync licensing, getting your music placed in TV and getting paid for it. So let's go, let's share my screen here, and we're gonna dig into this session. So I'm going to start with the hook. This is the entire track here. It's not long at all. It's no longer than a minute and 30 if you're including, you know, the, the sting ending just kind of naturally fading out. But we're going to start with the hook. And this is mostly strings. The album I produced for the publisher I, I did this album for, the theme was, uh, it was like orchestral hip hop, right? So I do a lot of that stuff. So this was pretty easy to make for me. So this is the first string line that I came up with here. All right, so that was kind of the basis of everything. And then from there, I kind of added just, it's, it's kind of a hit. It kind of leads up to it here. So I'll just play it a little bit before it comes in. And it's just this part here. So I'm doing that like every, the one hit every four bars, but then the, the thing leading up into the one hit every eight bars. So I added that in there. And then I added uh, some bass strings in here. So let's play these. And that's it. It's doing that. It's real open. It's not a whole lot going on in this track. And most of the tracks I produce for TV, like I'm not doing a whole lot. And then this is where a lot of the movement is coming in here. So we'll put all those together. Right. So then from there, we have the drums and the drums have just got, you know, 808 kick snares, hi hats and some different things going on percussion wise. So let's check that out. Let's 
that's pretty much the hook there. But there are some things that are going on in this final hook. So for me, you know, I start my structure off with a short intro, right? And then I'm, I'm going into the verse and I'm going to the first hook, second verse and then second hook. But sometimes if I'm trying to get to that minute and a half mark lengthwise, I'll add a second hook. And in that second or I'm sorry, in the final hook. I'll double the hook, but then on the the doubled hook, I'll have extra instrumentation in there. So that's when I added this string here. And that's leading up into the sting ending. So I'm going to play the, the whole thing starting at that point so you can hear how it's kind of building and leading up to the sting ending. And that's it. And then there's some some riser things going on. So here you can kind of hear the riser. So that's kind of making that sting ending more dramatic. And then one of the most important things that like every track for TV has to have is a sting ending. So pretty much that just consists of all the notes hitting the root note of the scale or hitting on the one if, if you're used to using a number system. And that sounds like this. <laughs> And if you go back to the clip that I showed you of the placement, they actually, they were using the track and then they wanted to transition from another scene. So all they did was just take this sting, they chopped it and then just placed that sting wherever they wanted to transition from scene to scene. So literally it gives editors flexibility to be able to just cut and stop no matter where they are in the track and it allows them to make a clean transition into the next scene. So that's why you should always include a sting ending in all your tracks that you're producing for TV because you want to give editors that flexibility. So yeah, so that's the track, that's the hook. Everything else is just addition and subtraction as far as sounds and the verses. Just some ear candy things here that I'll play, nothing crazy, but just something to kind of make the second verse a little different. <laughs> So just doing little things like that halfway through a verse, something that's not in the first verse to just give them some ear candy so they can enjoy listening to your music. So that was the placement, man. That was the TMZ investigates who really killed Michael Jackson. Question of the day. Have you started pitching your music for TV and film yet? If you haven't, what are you waiting for? Let me know in the comments. Hopefully this was helpful. If it was, please be sure to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.